so first of all you guys have kind of uh, come up with a bit of a uh, an effort i suppose to try and bring some more music acts over to the isle of man from from uh, across the water tell us a bit about how that started if you could first um well originally i used to do it in ireland back years ago with a group called rebel county drunk punks and together we've a group of lads we started a band and said so we just see if we can get bands over and eventually we did so the scene now is still going this was what 15 years ago and uh, i moved back to the island through uh bereavement and the family and then bumped into twist here and me and him decided we wanted to start a band and then i told him what i did in ireland and we said we'll do it here yeah and start bringing bands in and stuff and I think like this year we had like one band over and then next year we had two bands over yeah and it just kind of snowballs from there. Now Slowly we've got like building. four bands over this year so far, and more are going to come in. Um, it's, it's works in your interest a bit as well. Obviously, these are presumably bands that you sort of like yourselves, and so it's an opportunity yeah. to see them on home soil and play a bit with them. But um, as we were saying just before, it's also about maybe opening up the music to new audiences. Well, yeah, there's, I've always noticed on the Isle of Man, like the music scene has always been slightly dying, like like from the. 60s and 70s and 80s there was always bands coming over to the Isle of Man and since then it's just slowly died away so just try and bring it back it's like yeah. there's kids out there who don't get to see bands they don't get across to venues or gigs or festivals or anything so just bring it here yeah a lot of and the, open the island to another venue yeah a lot of music uh, venues on the island also just mainly play like the same kind of like covers bands which we want to try and bring in more originals and cover uh, try and encourage more local bands to do more originals and get them to play with other bands that maybe they've not heard of and just introduce some new music to people. It's like You never know if they play with the band that's come over, they might like them and go, come and play with us in the UK or Ireland or Europe, we're doing a tour, come with us. I suppose you could say some times of year, maybe the music scene's a bit better than others on the island. Obviously, TT's not far away now. That's um, an obvious time when you start getting some, yeah. some more bands over, but maybe this is an effort to do that sort of more of the year round well yeah, yeah. But during tt it's hard harder for us to get bands over because of the price of the boats and all that carry on yeah. and every, all the hotels are booked up and stuff because uh obviously you can't get people over that time and the place is mobbed so but yeah, um the rest of the year places. it's open we just do what we want with it yeah basically whenever anyone's available we'll go around find some uh venues where we've got uh dates available where you can get like a full weekend and then once we've got a couple of venues for that weekend ask around a few bands or people that have messaged us now it's not just us looking for bands anymore people will keep messaging us and finding out which dates work for which bands and see who we can get over it's like the the latest band that we have over blitzkrieg they've they've been going since 79 in the punk scene and they're massive throughout the punk scene and they've released a new album called blind faith and they're starting their tour here they're touring the album and it starts here for two nights and I, I only stumbled across them through talking to a lad from discharge big punk band as well from the early 80s and he sings on one of the, the songs on the album, and I just liked it and says, oh, it's a brilliant album, this, that, and the other. And next thing I know, Chris out of Blitzkrieg is talking to me and was like, do you want to play The Isle of Man? Yeah, sure, let's go for it. So tell us a bit more about what's happening this weekend then. Um, what what are the plans? What, where, when? Well, uh, this weekend, uh, as Mike just said, uh, we've got Blitzkrieg coming over, which I think for us is probably the biggest band we've ever brought over. So far, yeah. So far, yeah. Hopefully we get bigger. <laughs> Uh, so we've got uh, we've had a bit of a problem because uh, with a lot of uh, venues having their budgets cut, uh, we've actually had like three different venues that had cancelled on us last minute. But uh, we managed to get uh, some pretty good venues. We got uh, Outback on Friday night. Yeah, the middle bar in the Outback. Middle bar slash smoking area. That'll be uh, seven till ten. We've got bands on. We've got uh, Slow Decay. It's the first band. Yeah, Slow uh, Decay uh, open. Then ourselves Crotch Lice. Yep. And then obviously the headline is Blitz Creek. Yep. And for that we're asking for uh, a five pound donation on the door. Uh, which is suggested donation. If you can't afford a fiver, we don't want people left out. That's but just basically to help us cover the, the cost of bringing the, the band over. And accommodation and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then Saturday night we've got Rose, which is always a good venue. They put in loads of stuff for us, book a lot of gigs for us, really nice people there. Uh, that is Mad Daddy. <coughs> yeah, Mad Daddy. Uh, kind of rockabilly, psychabilly bands from Selfat Island. Really good band. Uh, and then once again, Crouch Slice. And then Blitzkrieg Headline. And that is from... 8.30 onwards. 8.30 till end of night. Yeah, till it ends. 
I, I'm quite familiar with Mad Daddy, and I think one of the band members is called Dolan as well. Yeah, I can, yeah it can, is. Can, can recommend that quite highly. But, uh, <laughs> um, so it's, it's obviously proven benefit to, to local bands as well. We mentioned a bit about the kind of symbiotic nature. You know, it benefits people visiting, but also good for, for yeah. local bands well, as yeah. well to, to, it's, to it's play not, alongside yeah. people they like. It's not just bringing a band over and having that band play. It's like getting other bands, Manx bands, involved in playing for this big act as well also gets more people just down to local gigs when they're on because some people just aren't bothered to go down to gigs but if they go down and see them have a good time they'll go see that band another time and in terms of moving towards the the rest of the year um mm. is any plans in store kind of after this weekend that you can uh, tell us about well it's got, pretty much every month so far isn't it we've got quite a lot uh we've got three other bands confirmed coming over so far uh which is risky and the ridicule which June 14th, 15th. We're planning a big thing for that. We're hoping to have a big party at the bay in Port Erin, have a big beach party. And then we've got Sentence, Yeah. which is end of June. That's the end of June, yeah. That's Is it three or four nights we're doing for that? Uh, I think they want three nights. Yeah. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, mm. I believe. And then we've got Zero Negative, which is a great band. I only met them randomly a couple of months ago when I saw another gig and saw them supporting. I was like, these guys are great. So uh, they're coming over beginning of July. Yeah. And we've got other bands asking to come over, which is just a matter of whether or not we can get venues on the dates that they want. Mm-hmm. Just finally, one final question. Um, you've mentioned a bit about this kind of scene, if you like, snowballing a bit and the efforts to, to build upon what you've you've already done, the bands you've already got over. Yeah. What would be the what would be the pinnacle for you? Who well, who well, would who would you love to have here? <laughs> um, Sex Pistols. Sex Pistols. <laughs> <laughs> That'll never happen. Um I don't know. It's it's a hard one to pick. You know, there's, there's that many great bands out Fair. there. Like, but um, I think the likes of yeah, Dropkick Murphys would be an awesome thing for over here because that would pack out the venue straight away. Here. And they've uh, they've recently just done a tour through Ireland and England. And it's it's not too hard to get one of the bands them. that played over here actually. Yeah, they do. Uh, grade Great two. Yeah, we had them over here when we first started out. Now they're touring in America and yeah. playing with Dropkick Murphys. Yeah, I'd say my f- best band to get over here. That would be likely. No, I'd like the interrupters to come over. They yeah. do quite a lot of uh, UK stuff, mm. and we know loads of people who've played for them. There's like, uh, well, for me, it'd be like GBH, Discharge, Conflict, things like that. It's all the old school punk stuff. Well, I'd like to get some scar pants over. No, I'm not. I'm not opposed to it. <laughs> watch this space, I suppose. Yeah, yeah basically watch this space. Watch this space. Uh, check us out on Manx Punks Facebook, M A N X P U N X. Keep up to date with all the gigs and stuff that we've got going on yeah 